Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we met a new... Not so much met, but a guy joined our group, I think his name was Machias. So, just us four now. The other team members are probably way far... What's a place like this even doing on the school grounds? That's a good question. Yeah, look at a giant trap door in a campus building. EP charge. EP charge? So, I was, yeah, how do I open it? EP charge. Maybe I should shoot that someone else? Huh. Oh, I'm not sure what I got. EP charge. Maybe that's just an item you use? I'm getting confused again. Sorry. Oh, more beetles. Great. Enemy Engage! Oh god, it's a lot of them. Go. Okay, this time I'm not gonna get too close. But do you have any distance things? Yeah, well, don't have any S crafts yet. One, one. Oh, these things are vulnerable to fire, aren't they? Uh, all right. Okay, you're the one with the group of thing, right? No, no. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Attack those three. All right, fair, fair. Leave it to me. What are your attacks, by the way? One. One. All right. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, his attack is a group thing. All right, so... Is it a group thing? Let's do that. Well, duh, it's a shotgun. Of course it's a group thing. Nice. So, CP... Okay. There's still a lot of this game I still don't know about. I'm gonna have to learn as I play. It's the only way I'm gonna get better at it. Oh yeah, you're the support character, aren't you? Hmm. You do that. Oh, I realize your thing is a group attack too. Shit. My turn. Okay, you fire. Uh, that one. Okay, some of these moves take a turn to charge up. I gotta be aware of that as well. I guess the, I'm guessing the more powerful ones take a turn to charge up. That would make sense, wouldn't it? It's my turn. Okay. Oh, we get three of them. Not fair. Or they got four. Damn. Burn them. Nice. I'll get a handle of this game one point guy, I swear to god I will. Can I get three of them? Yes I can. Alright. Okay, triple attack. Nice. Nice. My turn. He's taking quite a few hits. Oh, so close. My turn! Yeah, he's picking up the slack here. Hmm. Leave it to me. Lucky is taking quite a beating here. Okay, one more. Oh wow, he held he held on to a thread of health. Good god. My turn. Overkill, right, huh? Let's keep going. Oh, overkill Chris's experience? Level up. Alright. Alright! Okay, so obviously leveling up increases your stats, that nice. makes sense. I'm very tempted to go back to that healing thing, should I? I mean, it's just the next room over. Might as well. I want. Oh, God. You respawn? Really? Enemies respawn now? Okay, note to self. Enemies respawn. 
frick. Well, that's gonna be annoying as hell. I mean, yeah, I guess it's there so you can grind if you want to, but... Obviously, I'm not gonna grind on camera, because that's just boring as hell to watch, guys. Trust me, I've seen a lot of Let's Plays where people leave in the grinding. They're snooze fests, they really are. Right, so you gotta run past this one again, right? Yep, yep, yep. Ah, fuck! I got caught in the... God damn it, guys, I'm sorry, I got caught in the corner. Can I run for battle? Retreat! 60% sure. Cool. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, more of those cat thingies. Alright. No, I just imagine there's gonna be a boss at the end of this. I'm not gonna be prepared for it unless I do some grinding here. Any hey, decision? I'm gonna leave some of the ram. Hold that thought. What's happening? Oh, we got crossroads. Ah, oh, the ladies. Where the s small one go? Uh, good to see you guys are hanging in there. I'm sure they're more than capable, Elliot. <laughs> I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Thank you, humble, respectable girl. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit, at least. Sure. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. Mm-hmm. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? No, you have not. Laura S. Arseed? I'm Laura S. Arseed, from the town of the Graham. <laughs> that was a lucky guess. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I didn't think I would actually pronounce your last name right. Huh. The Graham? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? No idea. Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Apple. Okay. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Okay. That name sounds so familiar. Mm. Wait, so your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of the Graham. Whatever that means. Do you take issue with that? Say no. No, not at all. Good. <laughs> what made you think of that, Machias? Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. Let's hope not. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, <laughs> please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if, if I... Uh, Hey, I'm the stutterer here, not you, Machias. Uh, say, I don't <laughs> believe we've been introduced. Yeah, sure, change the subject. What's your name? Emma Milstein. Milstein or Stein? I'm Emma Milstein. With the E, it's always Stein. All right, but gotta Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. Oh, lucky you. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. Oh, did she? I think I was outdone. Am I a girl, no less? I sure hope you didn't say that out loud. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't be so humble again. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Which is? That's oh, pretty cool. impressive. You got an orbital staff too. Yours looks different from mine, though. Is that a problem? Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Hmm. Huh. A quiet one, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot. Sigh, I really need to clear things up with her, but what do I say? Hmm? Is something the matter? Oh, yeah, you were you there? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. I don't know if she's, go if she's gonna. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's your name? 
Come on, show me. Alisa R. Just R? Alisa R. From Ruwer. What's with the... Uh, just R? It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Why are you holding that against Reem? It was an accident. Uh, Alisa. Ruwer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. Mm -hmm. The Rhineford Company's based in Ruhr, and they're the largest ah. heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. You should know, it's either they are or they aren't. <laughs> uh, so, hey. Oh, it's that same one I we bumped into. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? She's not gonna appreciate you talking to her. I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? <laughs> yeah, try to play it off, Rain. There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Okay, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? Well, if you came from the left, we should go with the right, right? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? Mm. I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect. I think they'll be just fine. You needn't to be concerned about that. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. How the bloody hell could you hold that thing? For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That is true. And that's way a ton. We still haven't run into that silver hand before. Or the other dude, whoever his name is. Two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. Okay. How's that sound? I have no objections. Good. So then, shall we be off? Where are you even putting that sword? There's no place to put All it. Right. Same thing with you. We'll see the four and of you, you later then. Okie dokie. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was an accident, goddammit. Not my, not Reen's fault. It was clearly an accident. Everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Yeah, because she's Still, so no stuck up about it. worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? I mean, the monsters weren't that strong. There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. How about no? I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's <laughs> with her. You know, with that giant ass sword, I think they'll be fine. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. Mm hmm. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. Sure. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. Exactly, it must weigh a ton. I bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. You don't know that for sure. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. Okay. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. Why is Viscount spelled Viscount? I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. I mean, obviously the S is silent, but why? Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. Well, learn something new every day. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. Okay. Unless you're hiding some sort of dark secret. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? Yes, please. I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alvarea's son, too. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> I 
couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. It can rot down here. Why well, could I say the same thing about you before? <laughs> Come on now. That's no way to treat someone you just met. So do I go left or right? I mean, they came from the left. Looks like the path splits. Which right. way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. So I want to explore some more if we can. I see a bear host one of those bath things. Seems to be okay, so I done some faking guys as I was trying to say before. I might leave in some fights if it's like the if it's like a certain new enemy I mean for the first time or whatever. Otherwise, though, I think I'm gonna leave the random fights out. But it's kind of a slog to sift through. Tear for chair and chest. Tear. He was a small amount of HP with the power of water. Sure. Because I know what I left random fights in with some of my other games, like the Cyber Swoop series, that was kind of like a bore to sit through. So I'm going to try and cut out certain fights, you know? Especially the ones that repeat. Yeah, again, I'm very sorry for leaving the random fights in certain things in the past, but I didn't know any better back then. What's happening now? What's wrong, Reen? What's wrong? Yeah, it's my question. M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... It's what? <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Is that the silver-haired girl? Yeah, whatever your name is. Oh. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're alright. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Uh-huh. Nope. How did the other girls not see you if they came this way? I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Can you tell me your name, please? Fee Clossel? Fee or Fi? Oh yeah. Fee Clossel. That's my name. Damn, I almost got it correct. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. How would you know that? Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'm sure she'll be just fine. I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. Have you done this course already? Oh god, she's Neo. Or Trinity, I should say. <laughs> what just happened? Power of the Matrix. Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. I guess not. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Just over halfway through? Yeah, I picked up on that as well. Has she already been to the exit and then come back? I mean, either that or she's done the course already before. Yeah, it's a very weird thing to say, I will admit. Uh, okay, fight. Okay, so I assume whoever does the final blow gets the speech at the end. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I mean, no doubt it's gonna be a pain to edit out all of these fights, but... If they make the fight and... Okay, so I think I'm starting to understand the battle system a bit more. Not perfect yet, but I will figure it out at some point. We were going up, weren't we? Oh, there cuts you, man. What's going on? Do you hear that? I hear a sword clanging. Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on. Green! <clears throat> Wait for me! You could have ran along with us, you know. Oh shit, this guy's outnumbered. Unless he's perfectly fine on his own. I incredible. That was really something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. Okay. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Maybe. Right. 
That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. I didn't think he was. <laughs> Damn, this guy rocks. He just needs a better attitude. <sighs> oh, hello. Did you need something? No. <sighs> Machias, be the bigger man here. Sorry. I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I don't think he's in the mood for introductions. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzer. Nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alvarea. And oh, I have yeah. to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What? What are you talking about? I don't know either. After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I oh, was expecting geez. you to actually rely on others for help. Okay, no need to be a dick, G G I Chase Juices. I senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. Maybe that was what happened. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. Okay, you can stop now. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. Oh boy. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? Are we about to brawl? You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh boy. Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. But... And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Okay, you're both being dicks now. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Maybe? I don't know. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Can we all just get along here? Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> yeah, now you look like an asshole. And as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. Okay. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather... What? Cheap, wouldn't you say? You, you son of a... <laughs> Can we not Just fight here? Don't do it! I have to choose? Are you serious? Well, I think uh, Jusus is being the bigger dick, so I'm gonna reprimand him. I think you went a little too far, Eusis. You said odds with Machias is one thing, but tracking his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. Is this gonna affect things for the future? Green. Perhaps I was a bit out of line. Yes, you were. It may be for the best if I leave the four of you to find your way out of here together. Adios, While fucker. I make my way toward the exit alone. And unimpeded. Yo, wait till you need help, and I won't be there to help you. <laughs> to provide it. I can see I've still got a lot to learn about the particulars of your social strata. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad to say these kinds of disputes are pretty indicative of how the Empire is these days. How are you feeling, Machias? Have you calmed down now? I don't know. Yes, and I wanted to say I'm sorry for the way I acted. You have a lot more hum nobility than the other guy. I shouldn't have gotten so riled up over such an obvious taunt. 
Y yeah, you do kind of lose your cool maybe a little too easily. Okay, that's Elliot, it's not necessary. But is it true what he said? You're dead as the Imperial Governor? Probably. It's true. It's not that I was trying to hide it. I just don't like going around telling everyone. I don't like to brag. Again, very humble. But just so we're clear, that doesn't change who I am. When you get right down to it, I'm a commoner, head to toe. Oh, so you're ashamed? Are My you father's ashamed? salary is nothing to boast about, and he doesn't have any of the perks nobles are born into. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't worry. Governor Regnitz is pretty well known for being clean as a whistle. Let's hope so. Really? I've heard the name, but I can't say I really know anything about him. Uh, well, that's enough about my father for now. Yeah, let's change the subject. We need to get moving. We've wasted far too much time here as it is. He's right. right. We should get a move on. Okay, the only hard part about editing out battles is knowing to end the video, cause... Okay, so like I said, um, it's gonna be hard to figure out what to end these videos if I cut... <laughs> he seems kinda imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. How to end these videos, cause if I cut out a lot of stuff, it's gonna be hard to know how much footage is left that makes up half an hour, you know? We'll figure it out. One way or another, we'll figure it out. So I just put... Okay, is there any point in having to sort out, aside from smashing stuff? I'll figure that out as well, too, I guess, later on. <laughs> I mean, worst comes to worst, I will just have to film a bit more if I cut out too much. But we'll see how it goes again. Yeah, like I said, worst comes to worst, we'll just have to film a bit more, and if there's if there's too little footage, if there's too much footage, and I'll just have to cut out some more. No, it'll, it'll balance itself out, I think. I don't know where we're going. I thought we have the minimap again? Shit. Let's press four. Set. Hit that button. Right. Leave it to me. Right. I've got this. My turn. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, it's a chest here. Oh, a treasure chest. What we got? Evade one, all right. Hey, let's get these. So if I hit an enemy first, does that mean I get battle advantage? And if they hit me from the back, do they get an advantage? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, I have no idea how much longer this dungeon is, but Ring went down. I got to give him an item real quick. Shit. Oh, he's out. Shit. How do I revive him? Not these one of these things? Okay, the answer is that. Alright, so we'll see how long we could go. There might be a boss at the end. Oh, son of a bitch. There was one of these things right here. I'm so mad now! I am so mad! I, sh I wasted those items! <sighs> well, either way, guys, I think I'm gonna take a break here. Unedited, we're at 48 minutes. I think I could cut that down to 30 if I cut out the random fights. Alright, so let's save. So let me know what you think about my system to cut out the random fights or not. I mean, if I counter an enemy for the first time, I might leave it in, but otherwise, I think I'm just gonna cut them all out because they're kind of like boring to sit through, like I said. And I hope that makes the experience better for you. Unless you guys want me to keep them in, that's a different story. Just let me know, okay? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.